So finding the factors of large numbers. So if my directions are to find the factors of 96, I'm going to do a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to start. When I want to list those factors, I start with my divisibility rules. So I look at the number 96, and I know the divisibility rules for 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, and 10. Now, it's an even number, so it's going to work for 2. But since it ends in a 6, 5 isn't going to work, and 10 is not going to work. Next rule I'm going to look at is I'm going to look at 3. Now, the rule for 3 is I'm going to add 9 plus 6. 9 plus 6 is 15, which is a multiple of 3, so 3 will work. Now, 9 works similarly. However, 15 is not a multiple of 9, so 9 is not going to work for 96. Finally, the last rule I'm thinking of is the rule for 6. The rule for 6 is if it's 2 and 3, then it is 6. So 6. So now I know that 2, 3, and 6 are all factors of 96. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get started. Start by writing my first and last factor, 1 and 96. We always know that one fact is always going to be there. I know 2 is going to work. So 2. Now the other issue is I now need to figure out how many times does 2 times what gets 96. So I might do some division. 2 goes into 9 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8. Do my subtraction. Bring down my 6. 2 goes into 16 8 times, so my answer is 48. I have other strategies I could also use. I know half of 100 is 50. So if I just count back by 2, I can get myself, um, so 100, go back to 98, that would be 49, and then 96 would be 48. That's another way of getting there. All right, back to my factors. So I also know the number 3 is going to work. So let me figure out how 96 is divided by 3. Now, I'm not actually going to do that long division because there's no, there's no remainders. 3 goes into 9 three times, and 3 goes into 6 two times. So it works with 32. Now, I'm going to pause here for a moment because what I'm going to now think of is those factors of factors. So if I look at 48, I know 4 times 12. I know 6 times 8. I know there's probably others, 2 times 24. Well, guess what? These are all going to be factors of 96. Now, I can also look at 32. 32 has 4 times 8. Oh, but I already knew those. 32 also has 2 times 16. Oh, there's a new one. So now I know some new factors. 4 is going to work. 6 is going to work. 8 is going to work. All of these are going to work for 96. So back to work. After the number 3 is the number 4, which I now know works because I saw it right here with the number with 48. So I'm just going to have to go back to doing some division. I'm going to have to divide 96 by 4. 4 goes into 9 twice. 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract, bring down the 6. 4 goes into 16 four times. Oh, and there's my 24. I just saw 24 was going to work. Here it is right there. Now I know 24 works, 4 works. I've done 2, I've done 3, I've done 4. I know from my divisibility rules that 5 is not going to work. Now I know 6 will work. Okay, now I see some other numbers. I see 16 here. I'm kind of wondering if 16 might be the right thing. So I'm going to do 16 times 6 and see if that is 96. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. Oh, look, it did work. So it's 6 and 16. So then I have to start thinking about 7, because 7 is what comes next. Now, there, I don't have a divisibility rule for that, but I do know 7 times 12 is 84. 
So that means 7 times 13 is 91, which a lot of times I remember because now I remember, oh, that's a composite number. And that means 7 times 14 is 98, which means 7 is not going to go into 96. I do know 8 is going to work. Remember we found 8 here. So 8 was working. Now I have to figure out how many times does 8 go into 96. Well, that's a fact. So 8 times 12 is 96. Now, I still have a few numbers in between 8 and 12. I have 9, 10, and 11. Now, I already checked for my divisibility rules. Remember, we said 9 is not going to work, so 9 doesn't work. We checked 10 isn't going to work. And then I just think about the number 11. Well, 11 goes into 99, not into 96. So I now have all of my factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, 32, 48, and 96.